Hello. So this session will be on how to check on your computer's health and uh, how to identify certain aspects of a computer that are working correctly and that are not working correctly. Now, the easiest way is to use command prompt, which is uh, you're, going to con you're going to press control R for run. Windows R, and then CMD. CMD will take you directly to command prompt. From here, you can uh, SFC forward uh, slash scan now to. So I need to run it as an administrator, which means I have to go uh, here and write command from these are all other topics. We'll do that later. Now, what I want us to do is to understand this uh, this part of the computer. When you right click on the Windows icon, what, what are these? So when you press on run, it's just back to Windows R, which is the run function. When you press uh, this search is the same search that is on here. File Explorer is this application here, settings and task manager. So I'm going to start with task manager. Now, at the task manager, you'll find all the processes that are, are running. If you, can, if you press at the more details, you'll find all of these are the hidden uh, functionality of the task manager. An example is you'll see all the background processes. Synaptics is my mouse or the touchpad. And then you also have all these other services that are running in the background that most people don't usually know that are running. Then you'll have performance. At the performance, you'll find all the CPU components. Like uh, this shows me the CPU that I have is a Core i3. Third gen uh, runs at 2.5 gigahertz. That's the refresh rate. Uh, we also have, it shows you the number of uh, processors that are there. It, this has four processors with two cores. Uh, when you press the memory, you'll find the type of RAM that you use. So this is a 4GB RAM DDR3. So if you want to upgrade, you just uh, check the type. Is it DDR3, DDR4, PC2, PC, PC3, PC4, PC3L? Okay. Uh, hard disk shows me the hard, hard disk that I have. This is a 1GB. If you see 932, that is excluding the system files. So this is a, a 1TB hard disk. Uh, this is my generic external hard disk and this is an Ethernet port. App history shows you all the data that you've been using. Startup shows you all the applications that are turned on when you start your computer. Like I have Spotify enabled means whenever the computer turns on, Spotify comes on. But if I want to delete it, I can just press here and disable. From here, uh, whenever the, the laptop comes on, the processor won't uh, alert the hard disk to turn on the Spotify application. So Microsoft Edge, I can also disable that. Fox Digital Launcher, I can disable that as well. Chat GPT, I don't need to have Chat GPT always on. So this is how you disable uh, applications that have startup functionality that once you just turn on, they come onto your screen. Users, this is the amount of users that are here. I only have one user who is using 63 GB, 63% of the CPU, sorry. Details, services, all these are just for you to, uh, to use. So if you have an application that you want to delete, like let's say I've opened uh, ChatGPT. Look at the app section here. As you can see, ChatGPT has also been added. Now, I want that to be gone. So I will also press on, I will right click, right click on the ChatGPT icon. And from there, it will show me an icon of uh, delete task. And from that, I can now delete the task from there. So why don't we just do that right now? So ChatGPT, then end task. As you can see, the task has been ended. So that is how you use this task manager. You also have, um, let's, start from, let's start from the device manager so that you understand that first.
The task manager, the device manager shows you uh, the drivers that are there. So you, 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 you can see the drivers that are not present here. So this is all about drivers. As you can see I have a mobile data protection sensor. This is the sensor for the fingerprint. It doesn't need to, that's why the driver is there. It's not there, yeah. So if you have an issue with your Bluetooth or the audio ports, just check on your drivers. You also have the disk management, which is for the storage devices that are on your computer. So like here, we'll find that I have, a, it will bring four options, I believe. Yeah, so the new volume page and new volume D, those are my hard disk. If I just uh, disconnect my hard disk, you'll see that it moves away. So as you can see, you see that? So the rest is now the partitions that are on my computer hard disk. And as you can see, it tells me the health and the percentage. So uh, my hard disk is healthy and that is good. If I connect my external hard disk, you'll see that it also brings its data right away. There. As you can see, this bottom part, this is one GB, one TB of uh, my internal storage, and this is my one TB with the two partitions of 500 GB each. Yes. So that is uh, the disk management. Uh, you see the disk management is hanging. Just close the program. If you find that is also not solving, you can come back and select the task manager. So we'll continue more later on, uh, but now, just start practicing on how to use the tool.